Hi, thanks for tuning in to another ACO Designer Chat. My name is Mia Farrell. I'm a designer at ACO. I'm here to help you love where you live. And in this special Love Where You Live series, I'm taking you start to finish through a remodel. I am joined today by Corey Kroger of Stone Artisans. Thanks so much for being hey, here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. We are to the point in construction where it's time for countertops. So Finally. excited, so this excited. Is an exciting moment. It's so exciting when things start to come together and you get you know, cabinets in the space and materials in the space and the design starts to form. Yeah. So seeing you here is very <laughs> exciting. This is where it gets real. Yeah, absolutely. So as you can see, we've got some cabinets in place. Um, so tell us a little bit about your process when it comes to templating for the countertops that are going in. Thanks for asking. Um, you know, when we roll in to the job site at this point, you know, we want all the cabinets leveled, set where they're at, sinks in place so that we can accurately shoot it with a laser, double check it with dimensions and uh, tape measures so that um, we ensure good fit quality when we show up to install. Right, measure twice, cut once. Cut once. <laughs> we like that phrase a lot. Um, so in this particular situation, um, you can see we've got a farmhouse sink. So there's some intricacies that go along with that. Talk Absolutely. to me about that. Yep, so in this scenario, we've, ask for the sink to be installed in place so that we can literally scan around that. There's no um, mobility to the sink beyond this point. So we can't adjust it. So we have to, it's gotta be dead on. Right. And so we need to have that in place. If it were a regular undermount sink, we would just say, hey, we just need a center line. Sure. Um, but in this certain area, we, we have to have it where it sets, it's at home, it's where it's always gonna be. Right, so the digital kind of laser template says, yep. this is where this thing is, it's this not is going anywhere. This is home. That's great, because that edge will be a nice polished edge. Correct, And yeah. it'll just be a nice seamless installation, it'll just be beautiful when it's done. Absolutely. So you guys do great work, we're super excited to have you on site. Um, so also in this situation, we're gonna have a tile splash that goes all the way down to the countertop. That's not always the case though. Sometimes we've got a little bit of a splash in the same material as the countertop. Sure, sure. So what considerations? Yeah, options there? would be, you know, a four inch backsplash, mm -hmm. six inch, or a medium style backsplash. Or you can go all the way up underneath the wall cabinet um, or up underneath the range. Yeah, uh, in definitely that scenario, popular these days. Yeah, it's, it's nice clean. You don't have another medium back there to mm -hmm. worry about coordinating color with. Sure. Um, but we have some things to consider like outlets, switches, and, and you know, around windows, do we incorporate a windowsill, yep. so on and so forth. Yep, that's great. It, I mean, it's definitely more popular, seeing a lot more of it these days, to carry yeah. that same material up on the yeah. backsplash. It just so. creates that visual continuity yeah. that I think people want. Yeah, but outlets are always a thing. You yeah. know, we've got some options. We can kind of bump them up underneath the cabinets, maybe do a track under the cabinets so they're up out of the way. Yep. Um, but we are able to kind of carry them through the backsplash as well. So Absolutely. It's Absolutely. not a problem. Not at all. Not for us. <laughs> the other thing to consider would be um, movement in our pattern. So um, with some more natural stones like granite, you'll have a little bit more of a busy pattern. Um, what about seams? Talk to me about that. So, you know, we, we take several things in consideration when we're, we're laying out a job. So and with natural stone, you have a seam. Um, placement based upon color match. Mm -hmm. um, within this scenario, we have quartz, so you have more consistency in color and pattern. So we just look at it in three different ways, you know, when we're laying it out, um, the shape of the piece, how it's gonna be installed, and then where the seam's gonna wind up, sure. and, and how that coordinates with color and veining. Yeah, is there a particular recommendation um, as far as the best placement for a seam? You know, we often prefer in a scenario like this, Oftentimes the, the seam is placed either in the corners mm -hmm. or right at the center of the sink. Sure. Uh, if we can get two L pieces in. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll have to kind of weigh those options when we get back to the shop, measure the slabs, and then decide where we would like to have it. Sure. With well, that being said, we use, you know, a two part epoxy mm -hmm. that's a stone epoxy. We color it to match, and so they really kind of go away at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, they're so minimal. I mean, they're necessary and all that, but it's really important to think about that placement so that you've got the good movement of the pattern Absolutely. from one piece the, to the another. I think the common misconception is, is it a grout joint, you know, like tile? And it's really right. not. It's, yeah. it's, it's very well done. And unless you're really studying it, and, and you won't find it. Yeah. So that's, that's the goal. So what kind of things can we expect when you guys actually physically bring the stone in here? So that's where the manpower comes right. into place. Um, you know, we, we really run a, run a team of uh, about two installers, depending on the size of the job mm -hmm. or if it's a large island. So the day we come in here, 
Um, nothing's really changed from the aspect of like cabinetry layout. Right, yeah. Um, we're ready to install the countertops. So we would essentially roll them off into the kitchen, lay them in place, shim and level them, and then we seal them down, put the seams together, drill any faucet holes or things like that sure. if they've not already been done in the shop. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to get these bad boys in. Um, <laughs> it's it's going to be, be very exciting. Um, so as a person who's been working with stone for how long? 25 years. 25 <laughs> years. Let's talk about any material that you might prefer working with. You know, I the name on my shirt kind of says it all. I'm a stone <laughs> guy. I have it in my own home. But I also have quartz in my laundry sure, and bathrooms. Yeah. So, you know, I think it really comes down to preference. Yeah. Do you like natural yeah. movements? And do you like the variation? Or do you like the consistency that quartz provides? Yeah. Yep, and there's different scenarios for different types. There's pros and cons to all of it. Um, I always say it comes down to personal preference and lifestyle, right? <laughs> so, yep. And that's what we're here to help decide. Um, and guys like Corey are here to help put the countertops in. Cannot wait for this installation. So please keep following along with our Love Where You Live series to see more of this remodel.